Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the Trying Miracle channel. Now, today I'm going to go through a different combo for everyone. Um, this one is not going to be with Calamities or Caliuga. However, it's still a lot done. I'm going to go through the pros and cons. And this may be one of the few of the last times that I'm going to do Pen Call plus Dark Worm. As this combo it does require you to use Pen Call plus Dark Worm. But the only reason why is that because I want to summon a magician and no other reason. Now, let's begin the combo. So, obviously, pin called Dark Worm. We're going to add Harmonizing and Celestial Magician. Normally, we don't even add Harmonizing any at all, so that's a real different one. But the real reason why is just that it doesn't really matter what we put in the scale. So, we're going to activate our scales and we're going to use Dark Worm effect to summon itself and its next effect to add gate zero. I'm going to normal summon Celestial and use effect to search during the end phase. So now it's time to link into Beyond the Pendulum. Beyond the Pendulum's effect, I'll add another copy of Harmonizing Magician, which for some reason is not in front of me right now. So yeah, my apologies on that. So I'll add the next copy of Harmonizing Magician. It's time to pendulum someone. And I'll use Harmonizing Effect to summon Stargazel. It's not specifically required to be Stargazel, it could be any level 5. Then Shenanigans, XC Shokan into Time Star effect, detach, and we will add our Sauge de Flare. Sauge effect, targeting, I can use any Pendulum monster, however, I would best advise you to target the gate zero. Because even if it, something goes wrong, it doesn't matter. So, we'll drop him, pop him and scale. Now, Apologies. Um, Time Star can save any Pendulum card on in the Monster Zone or in the Pendulum Zone by sending a Spellcaster from deck. Now, notice he can only add Dark Spellcasters, but he can send any Spellcaster. So it's not limited. So it's, in other words, this is a foolish barrel for Spellcaster decks. So I'm going to send Jogen, which is going to be the lock for today. And... From here, I actually don't need this anymore because he did his job by Foolish Barrel. And now I can link off into our first Selena Gomez. We're going to use effect. It's mandatory, it's not really optional. Get my three counters and I'm going to use this effect to get back harmonized into the field. Don't be crazy on someone you're jogging too early. Now that harmonize here, I can link off using these two. Harmonizing goes to face of extra deck. I'm going to our Halky Firebrax. Halk effect, I'll get Red Rose. I'll now use Oath, add back harmonizing, and from here I can start synchro summoning. So I'll synchro summon with both of these first. I'll make my level 10 should be and I can't exaggerate this enough, should be Baron. Hopefully by next week I'll have my own copy. Like, you know when you have money to buy it and it's just not, no one's not selling it anyways? Anyways, now it's time to use our Red Rose effect, summon Rocks Rose. Just by summoning Rock Ro Pause, Rocks Rose, you'll get the effect, and you're going to add Basal Rose Shoot. I'll synchro with both of these, in no, my apologies. I'm not supposed to synchro someone this early. It doesn't change anything. It's just that you'll get less negates because I could equip Selene instead. But just since I declared it, let's work with it. I can now use the next basal row shoot. Pull back. It doesn't matter which one. Synchro. And now, 2 plus 1, and it's a spellcaster, so I'll get my other copy of Selene. Effect, 
auto gets four counters. Effect. Pull back Jogan. Now this combo is a little bit cheeky. In terms of your opponent can't special someone. This should be Baron, so they don't have a little dark hole out. And Savage is going to negate the next card. They can't target it with Forbidden Chalice. Or any Imperm or anything like that if they top deck it. Because normally they would already stop us. And during the end phase we're going to get an add. What we're going to add is the boy himself. The man, the legend. And we have Harmonizing in hand for the follow up. But I want to show you guys something important. Like, the reason why I don't do this lock is because the outs. There are several outs. They just can't special someone, but they can't do anything else. They might can't attack over the Jogan. However, what they can do is Dark Rulo. Or they can Forbidden Droplets and clear the board. The worst possible situation is if they're intelligent enough to clear everything but Jogan. Build their board and end their turn. You can go straight to the scoop phase. And this is why I don't play the Jogan combo. But I kid you not. I've only lost a single duel that has someone Jogan in. And one duel that I lost was because I sided out Jogan. Jogan is just too good against these people. Any fusion based deck. If they don't draw droplets or dark ruler. They can just pack right up. That's how strong Jogan is. And the mere fact that you have quantum. Force them to target it for attacks. And effects they have to draw something that can cross the board they have to draw basically a side card so game one you're already gone with game one there is no win for this notice i didn't try to put my apologies where is it i didn't try to put this card in scale the reason why even if they managed to clear the board i couldn't get by anything because jogging was on the board so might as well have something there to pump up jogging's defense the combo is pretty solid and I kid you not, I jump to this anytime they negate something. So in the event I know that I can't make it all the way to Calamity, like I just don't have the resources, I just drop a jogging on them in defense and watch them cry. Because most of the times they use up hand power and resources that they would need to cross the jogging just to stop you from comboing off in the first place. Calamity is technically a FTK. The way how I do it at least, because you have negates on top of the calamity is like they're getting it. I've never had someone like, hmm, two million IQ. Let me stop this one card in my turn. No, they always get calamities locked. And it's not like people don't dark rule me or anything, but they sphere mode me and that they lava goal in me. So those are cards that are guaranteed to get them out. But for this, um, it, they still have to face two negates. Like, no shit. And then the worst part is if you actually see enough spell cards the Selene can rebar reborn the Jogan again so even if they cross the Jogan just reborn it in their turn for the second time if you have enough counters you'd have to see two more spell cards but that isn't really difficult to do because if you saw dual Alliance you guarantee know that you're looking at another spell counter all right guys that's it from me you can tell me any criticism that you have down below i'd like to hear from some feedback from you guys as it relates to the combo in my opinion this combo is a bit too soft in terms of you don't have enough aggression and i don't like floodgates that stay on board like with calamities he just negates and sorry he doesn't even negate he just locks them and it's done like he doesn't stick around to me calamities is the perfect lock i don't think any card can be created better than it because it's just for the whole turn. They can't even respond to it. That's what makes it so broken. And then you're telling me. It doesn't have to stay on feel or anything like that. No. Calamities is unfair. And I expect for Calamities to go on the ban list. But you never know if the ban list might take. Um, Halky Fibrox. I'd be crying if they took Hulk. Because I really love the card. And it's very useful. And it's utility is amazing. But. It's the biggest enabler for all of his foolishness. In my opinion, still, Calamities can damn well still go. Because it is unfair. Like, I've dueled a lot of persons and they just didn't even have a turn. It is downright unfair and unhealthy. But at the same time, it's 
very difficult to pull off so no one really watches it so calamity is, is what it is right now i think it needs to be banned over hulk like all these turn enders that just happen they, i prefer those go banned but you guys can tell me what you guys think down below rate comment subscribe and i'm out peace